Hello there, LEGO fans. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm Minifig1210. I'll be your host for this delightful evening, afternoon, morning, or whenever you decide to watch this video of Imperial Light Cruiser mods. Now, don't get me wrong. The Imperial Light Cruiser that LEGO released is a very great set and by all means looks like the actual Imperial Light Cruiser that we see in the Mandalorian and in Rebels as such. So there was a lot of things on this set that I really wanted to be better. One of those being the TIE Fighter Launcher. A lot of people have been talking about this one, and yeah, it's a really weak feature. I mean, you hit it, and the TIE Fighter just kind of falls off the ramp there. It doesn't really go all that far from the actual light cruiser. Also, the turrets on the top of the Imperial Light Cruiser look kind of weird with the spring load shooters when you're trying to display the set. Yes, the spring load shooters are a great play feature, but when you're trying to display the set, they look really awkward, like a second set of guns on the turret, which aren't supposed to be there. And then finally, the thing I'm most disappointed about is the engines at the back. They look really tacked on. You have these nice, powerful engines in the show, and the ones on the LEGO model look kind of tacked on. They look a little unfinished, and they do that for durability, yes, but they don't look like the same engines from the show. They just look kind of awkward. But this is LEGO after all, so let's fix these problems with three easy mods. Now, the first feature I'm going to address is, of course, that TIE Fighter launcher. It's just really, really weak. It's actually going to be a very easy fix to do. All you're going to want to do is take out that brown Technic axle and replace it with the same part, but slightly longer, in dark bluish gray. This is going to cause the TIE Fighter to be connected to the launching mechanism just a little bit longer and actually have a little more power behind that push. And as you can see from these clips here, that TIE Fighter is going to be launched a lot farther. Now the two turrets are going to be just as easy to mod. The parts you need are on screen right now. And what you're going to want to do for these turrets is pretty much take everything off that circular brick there except the brick built cannons and you're going to want to leave those little side panels on the modified plate intact as well then you're just going to follow along with the video and build your turrets Now moving to the back of the ship, the engines are going to be the most complicated things to mod and it's actually going to require a two-step process. The first part is going to be modding the two side engines. What you're going to want to do is pop them off and then you're going to want to grab this larger circular plate. This plate actually comes in the 2021 Millennium Falcon Microfighter, so if you don't have these plates, I just recommend picking up that set. And then follow along with the video and mod those side engines. Now before we reattach those side engines, we're going to actually need to take apart the middle engine there in order to mod it. So follow along with the video, I kind of chunk it out so that way it's easy to put back together later. So if you want to follow along with the video, I'd also recommend grabbing your instruction manual out just so that way it's a little bit more easier to figure out where everything is on the inside there. Now the point for taking apart the middle engine there is so that way we can get to this circular construction connecting or resting on the connection between the engines and the rest of the ship. What you're going to want to do is take that off and then use it to mod the middle engine. Before you reattach the middle engine, make sure that your translucent blue circular dish and the Technic axle are not connected to the rest of the middle engine superstructure there. Then what you're going to want to do is line up the rest of your engine builds, so that way it's center and looks proper with your other two engines. 
then attach that translucent blue dish with the uh, Technic axle onto the rest of the Imperial Light Cruiser, and that will hold in the rest of your engine in place and make sure that's centered. Now I do want to mention that I sacrificed durability in order for design, so LEGO's original design is more durable, however my design is more accurate. And because of that sacrifice of durability, the engines do sag just a little bit. That's actually a very easy fix. All you're gonna have to do is take any plate, a one by two or bigger, and just slide it underneath that engine. Just one plate will do the job just fine and it will not be noticeable by any means. Here's the new and improved Imperial Light Cruiser with all the mods in its place. I really like how the guns look now on display with the turrets not having that awkward spring load shooter in there. And while I maybe wouldn't recommend the TIE Fighter Launcher if you're going to be displaying this set, the new and improved TIE Fighter Launcher is really impressive. You can get that TIE Fighter to go at least two feet from the edge of the model. And, and then of course the engines at the back, I really like how clean and crisp they look. And they also look like they have some thrust behind them. It just looks like they're powerful engines versus kind of the incomplete look that they had before. But unfortunately, that's it for this edition of 3 Easy Mods. What did you all think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really want to hear it. What did you think of these mods? Also, if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. As well, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. Thank you all for watching, everyone. And until I see you next, keep on building.